run down and pick up a striker that's bound for Georgia. It's got to be there Monday. So, most of the way I can run on the weekend, so we'll load Thursday, take it home, which one I'll get some work done. Orwell basically needs an oil change. Uh, I want to address the issue on my passenger side cargo box, or Peterbilt calls it a luggage box. I want to address that. I got parts for that on order. So I have to kind of fix it temporarily until my new parts come in. So it's something. Believe it or not, there, what I need is a hinge and pull cables. Those are still available brand new, believe it or not, from Peterbilt. But I gotta wait on them a little, so. I have enough spare parts to make it functional for now. Just thinking if I had known how to went around, but I forgot I'm a wide load, I can't do that. Big dogs just barking. They barking at my load. Take it easy there, Cujo. There's no camera catching him, he's right between the two cameras. If I catch him now. Oh, now he went back inside. He literally, there he goes. He's just barking away at my trailer. <laughs> Whatever thanks to him. Calm down, Cujo. This big ass backup for that little baby ass truck that broke a ball joint. Right? Yeah. You can pass me if you want. Nah, it don't matter to me. On drive, this is Indiana on 65. If an ant crosses the road and gets ran over, you're gonna be a backup. Oh. Ain't come on over. Come on, don't be a pussy. Damn! Push that thing all the way to 68. Woof, 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 woof! Shut up! <laughs> You don't need your mirror, driver.
go. That exhaust on that international sounds like crap. I know there's a lot of you guys that carry dogs in your truck. How do you deal with a dog that doesn't stop barking and is always blocking your mirror so you can't see none? How do you deal with that? Ain't that crazy? 65 in Indiana is so terrible, it takes nothing to create these massive backups. I, I don't know, two point something up there. They got a tow truck there, it shouldn't be too long. Uh, He's in the left lane right now, cop behind him. Fucking push that bitch into the median, let's fucking go. Driver that won't work because we'll have to sit there and all look at it too, so it's got to be removed so it's not there to look at. You guys can see, but it looks like it's not Watch that out. far ahead. Vehicle on shoulder ahead. I can see around a corner and a line. The line isn't beyond 
all the way through this next curve. Just dragged that pile off the road. I just gotta wait for the cop to get off the road. Looks like they got it all cleared up. They're just waiting for Smokey Bear to get back in his car, kill the lights, and hammer down. Buggity, 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 let's go!
Alrighty, boys and girls, we are ready to go. Stayed at the quick trip here last night. And, uh, and get me some sleep, get up in the morning, go drop this. And that's all we got to do today, other than switch the trailers. unload this we're gonna go to the yard switch trailers this one has the bigger deck and a shorter well we need a bigger well for the striker we're gonna load tomorrow so all we got to do is go unload this go to the yard change trailers then I'm going home probably work on or well a little bit today or tomorrow and I got to set my pickup truck up and get ready to go haul Max motorcycle to him trial can or well in whichever order it really doesn't matter Cars, 
sitting on two acres. By the time I seen it, it was already gone. I couldn't even apply because it was already gone. So, man, I missed it. So, the truck camper. Well, we're starting to think about buying a truck camper and then starting to look at places like property. Just buying property, maybe in Tennessee or Florida. Hopefully Florida. And using the truck camper as kind of the base of operations rather than like everybody else does. You get in the plane, you fly down, you get a rental car. You're out thousands of dollars just to look at a place to maybe like it or not. So to figure with the camper, it makes life a lot easier as far as where to go and how to get there. Plus you can incorporate other things with looking at property. That's the theory anyway. So look for a place to live while on vacation where you have your motorcycle on your trailer or your racer on your trailer or something of that sort or combine it with going to see the boys. Whatever. That's the idea.
go back with the dually. If I like it, I'll pay for it. If I don't, then I'll just roll on. It might sell before then too, you never know. There's another Kenworth, the subscriber is trying to sell me out in Iowa. The Kenworth's got a Cummins and I'm the Peterbilt's got a cat. I'm more partial with caterpillars. back in in this location well, that wood bar driver is going to drop in that driveway I'm going to drop him over here I don't know maybe I'm missing the boat
switch trailers. I gotta drop this tire off the yard. Trailer back together and put all this crap away. <laughs> <laughs> 